Bowman here at BW1.com. I'm going to give you part two of how to hack your HTC Touch Pro by how to flash a new ROM on the device. Now the first part you've seen is I've shown you how to unlock the HTC Touch Pro. So now you're going to learn how to flash a new ROM on it. So the first thing you need to do when you want to flash a ROM on it is you have to download a ROM. So you can either go to uh, the website I showed you earlier, ppcgeeks.com, join their forums, go inside to the CDMA um, uh, HTC Touch Pro upgrade section and you can look for the different ROMs that people have made there and you can download them there specifically this tutorial on this what I'm using is a Verizon version of HTC Touch Pro so you want to make sure you look for the Verizon version of that I can't speak for the other devices but I know this works specifically for the Verizon version but um, if, if you can go there you can sign up and you can download the ROMs there but what I would suggest doing is definitely going to this website sskusers.com that it's a great website with a guy that really works very hard in these um, ROMs and he has great uh, ROMs that work re re really well when you go to the website you can see all the pre-made ROMs that he has there I'd recommend the uh, off raw ROM to download and install if, if you view, if you choose to use that make sure you download that and if you want to learn learn how to do that one you want to make sure you unlock the phone check part one then check my Windows Mobile 6.1 upgrades uh, video and it's pretty much the same exact thing for when you're using that when you're just using a pre-made uh, ROM so you can check that out if you want to do it that way in this instance if you want to make your own ROM or, or cook your own ROM I've downloaded the kitchen that he had that he's provided so this tutorial is going to show you I'm going to show you how to use the kitchen how to create your own ROM there but you want to make sure you sign up to sskusers.com sign up for the forums go right there it's a great community it's building community it's got a lot of people there that can help you out if you get stuck on anything you have any questions it's a great place to go um, like I said the guy works really hard on this website and it works really hard to uh, to really make these ROMs, ROMs work so make sure you go there show them some love definitely recommend sskusers.com so once you've gone there and downloaded it, you want to unzip the uh, kitchen uh, folder right onto your desktop. When you open it up, you want to come down here to the bottom. You want to click on the batch file to begin the first part of the ROM process, which is the build OS part. So this part allows you to add the different uh, components of your ROM. And you can see here you have um, system, applications, OEM apps, battery icons, dialer caps, extras, GPS, GPS drivers keyboards, manila, sensor apps, skin, splash screen, star menu icons, and so on. And each section has a different um, set of options. And um, some options are already preset. You can choose to keep those preset or you can uncheck those depending on what you want to do. So for this ROM, um, I'm actually going to put in the transcriber portion of it back. He's also taking things out that he's felt that are kind of overloaded as well. So I'm going to keep that in. Uh, I'm going to keep the advanced configuration. I'm going to add the diamond tweaks. I'm going to add the HTC Addicts Clean ROM, we'll leave that on there. I'm going to add PIM Backup. And if you're not sure what each one of these applications do, you um, you make sure you want to go into the forums of SSK users or PPC Geeks and you can learn what each one of them does and really get some um, education on everything that's on it. And um, for this section here, I think I'm going to choose MP3 Trimmer um, and World Card Mobile. And I think I'm going to want percentage of icons for my battery. For the dialer cab, I'm going to use a slide to enter with the curtain white. And for this, I'm going to uncheck most of this here, but I'm going to keep the mobile mat fuseberry backgrounds. It's a pretty nice background. For the GPS um, applications, you can, I'm going to uncheck Google Maps Live Search. I'm just going to install those myself, but you can have them auto installed. But definitely you want to keep the GPS tool and the quick GPS. You're going to need those. And for this, I'm going to keep the standard GPS drivers. If you're using VZ Navigator for, for this ROM, uh, if you use VZ Navigator, you want to make sure you check these drivers and uncheck the standard drivers. For the keyboard, I'm going to use the black easy input one. And for the standard Manila, I'm going to use uh, Scott's R for R theme. That's the one, um, so that's, like I said, uh, SSK user, that's the creator of the website. I'm going to use his theme. His theme is really cool, and I definitely recommend using that. I'm going to show you what it looks like once we flash the ROM. And I think I'm going to leave everything else at default. I'm going to change this to the HTC logo. And I'm going to change the black Vista Orb to the blue Vista Orb. Once you've chosen all your options, you want to click the play button here at the top. And it's going to begin to build, build the uh, OS for you. Okay, once it's done that, you want to exit out. And you'll see here in the little uh, command prompt here, it's going to give you each step to let you know what it's doing. Create the ROM, gives you each step as it goes along. OK, 
okay so I click okay down here and it brings up the page full changer so you want to do is you want to click select and you just want to choose a uh, scroll sir and HB open that up and I leave this at the default settings I just want to make sure it's there I just leave this at the default settings I'm not too familiar on how the page pool works how the page pool changer works you make sure you go to the forums and Google search it to learn how to use this a little bit better I'm not positive on it but for Verizon I just leave this on the default things he's already had set so once I just click that I click close click yes to open up the ROM update utility and you've seen this before it's the same as uh, the others in the past just click you understand the steps indicated above and it's going to ask you to update you want to update to, to this version here you click next and when you click next again the ROM update flash will begin Okay, once you, once you see that on the pen, it's going to take congratulations, ROM update's not complete, the phone's going to reboot, it's going to go through the uh, first process, just like you, you turn on the phone for the first time. So let's check that out, and let's check out the finished product. And now, the final product, HTC Touch Pro Flash with a custom ROM. And you can see here, you have the custom Manila, which is the r all theme, made by um, SSK himself. And the cool thing about this theme, if you go to settings, you go to wallpaper, and we choose the wallpaper. I like to choose one of, one of the ones of the fuse berry. Let's choose the earth background. Now that background shows up on each and every tab, and the, and the whole theme is sort of has this clear kind of Windows glass look to look through it. But the cool part about this whole ROM is now you have all your little customizations on here. You have your new applications that you can try out as well that are already put onto the ROM as well. You have a cleaner ROM. Usually your ROM runs better with memory. You can take a check here. Now you have 49.63 megabytes, three of um, RAM. Usually a little lower with standard ROMs. You have your different little um, like I said, applications to choose from. If the phone may need to be reprogrammed and you might need to press star 228 send and choose option one on, on Verizon and it'll reprogram the phone again to reboot and you should be able to get a uh, cell phone reception again um, other than that this is this is the final product here and it's like I said it's pretty cool you can get really customized with it and when you're using the kitchen you're gonna have to use a lot of trial and error to figure out what things work where things don't work what things you want to use if you need help make sure you go to the forums and and they'll be able to help you out definitely there um, if you want to attain any issues as well, you want to make sure you go to the forums. Um, so this, like I said, this is a trial and error thing. You want to make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you read the disclaimer at the beginning of this video because um, this is this is as is, and this is sort of at your own risk when you use it. So if you, if you don't feel too comfortable, well, I would recommend not doing it. But it's definitely something to look into. Definitely something cool to do if you definitely get it down packed and definitely have it working for you. You'd really get some really cool things out of it. So. This is Bowman from BW1.com showing you how to hack your HTC Touch Pro, reminding you to follow us on Twitter.com slash BW1.com, subscribe to the RSS feed, and live your tech world in high definition.